Okay, guys, here uh, is Jolly Steve, ready for today's challenge. I'm standing on a plank, being circled by sharks, and the captain says I've got five minutes or less to show you how to use the Maker app to make your own pirate. So I better be fast, otherwise I get dunked. Uh, but if I do it on time, I think I get to go drink some grog with the crew. So let's do it. Maker app. You gotta sign in, you gotta have an account to use this. You don't have to be, your account could even be expired, but we do ask that you have an account because when you go to test it, we want you to be able to do test calls and we have to know your phone number. So not a big deal, but please sign up for an account with us and then you will be ready to make a pirate. You'll come up after your first login, you'll get this screen about Dead Men Tell No Tales. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time teaching you stuff because there's sharks down there. Let's just get going. But there, we have another tutorial that will give you all this stuff in great detail if you wanna know how all these fields work. Okay, let's generate a name. I can make up a name or I can just generate, oh, like that one. Okay, Kate, so I think I'm gonna do female, huh? I'll try my female voice. No description, you can put something in here. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. There's different types of pirates. I'm gonna do the easiest and fastest one because my life is on the line. So let's go back. Got that. I'll say it's a female. Who is the most beautiful female here? I don't know, how about that one? I can pick an image from my camera roll, which would probably just be my dog. And I'll say create pirate. I can always go back and change that later, change the name, add the description, change the pirate. For now, I gotta start editing. I've got zero five categories filled in, so I better get going. Okay, first one is greetings. So I'll go in here and I see that I've got one greeting that's required. Read these options. There's all kinds of information here to help you to explain to directions for you for how to record. I've done it before, so I will just be quick. And let's go record. What do you say when you answer the phone? So let me put on my best girl voice. Here we go. Hello. Okay, save my recording to the cloud. And I'm done with my greetings. I can put a whole bunch more, but they're all optional. I'm in a hurry. I'll back out. First response is, you're answering the first question the caller asks you. Hmm, okay, so an affirmative answer. I've only got one that's required. Let me put it in there. I'm not gonna bother with labels. You can add labels if you want. They're nice and helpful, but I'm not gonna bother right now when I only have one recording. Uh, yeah. Okay, I've now got affirmation. And all the rest are optional. Let me back out here. Let me give it a grunt. Uh, you should put in, in real for a good row, but you should have lots of grunts because um, it'll sound just more natural, but I'm just gonna do a quick one. Uh, quick grunt. No, I think I was talking when I did that. So try again. Uh, uh. Okay, that sounded weird, but let's take that. And now I've got my grunts and uh, the rest are optional. Back up, and now the longest one we're gonna do is telling a story. Um, you like to have some consistency where I'm gonna have, there's actually two stories at once for me, and I'm gonna do it in three parts. So let me try one here. Okay, what's a good story? Um, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of getting a pet pangolin. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's a silly thing. Save that recording. Step one, and add another one to those. I mean, penguins are cute. I like them. Okay, so remember your story is just three little recordings that kind of fit together. Well, maybe I should get a ferret though. I don't know. Oh, but sorry, what were you saying? Okay, so now I've got a story. Uh, I probably want a second story from me, but what you'll see when I do second stories, they're all optional anyhow. So let me just put something in there for fun really quick. Um, I sure hope I never have to walk the plank. Yeah, what were you saying? Okay. That was a little concern that I have for my time. I should have a little clock running here to make me faster, but I think I'm just about there because the only thing I have left to do is a distracting remark. Sometimes pirates say silly things out of the blue. I can do that. You know, my favorite television show just got taken off the air. I'm so sad. Okay, got that. Save my recording. And now, if I back out of here, because I don't want any of these optional ones, what I can see is for all my categories, I'll have green arrows right down there 
It says finish my pirate and I take a look. Do I like these settings? I can go change them later. Um, how do I want to publish it? Let me just publish it for my private use. I would have to go back to the website and just go and decide how I want to work it into the rotation. But for now, publish for my private use. Say finish pirate. Everything look good? Yes. Continue. And done! It gives us some instructions there at the end um, about how to go into the website and, and use the pirate in practice. And you can also, of course, publish it for public use and share it. So um, this, there you go. You can now see that I've published for my own use. And I just, if I wanted to test it, I can touch pirate actions and say, call the pirate. And then I can try and sell him something, sell her something. Um, and I would just touch the call button and it would call me on my phone. You see the call is arriving and I would answer the call and cancel that for now. And there you go. So thank you so much for sitting through that quick ride. Um, as I say, we've got a bunch of tutorials now. So if you want to see this in greater detail without me rushing through it, please check them out. Thanks so much once again from Jolly Roger. This is Jolly Steve saying, Arr, mateys. <laughs> <laughs>